up everybody okay is genesis 8 and 8.1 dead because of the genesis 9 <laughs> the quick answer no definitely not 100 percent not you got to think of it as like when a new game console comes out like a playstation 5 or something uh when that console comes out there's not much for it it takes a long time for something to come or something to uh, you know for for it to get a like a decent library or a decent kind of uh, uh, enough stuff that you, that it actually becomes usable and the PlayStation 4 then goes into its golden age which means that prices start dropping and things start getting cheaper and uh, there's just so much content for it and that's where we are with 8 and 8.1 we're going to enter like such a nice golden age for these figures. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them. They are incredible. Some of these figures, a lot of these figures are absolutely incredible. Um, and nine is going to take a good while to start getting to a position where it starts building a library, starts building clothes, hair, all of these kind of things, poses, all these kind of things is going to take a pretty damn long time i'd say a good four five six months before it starts becoming feasible or, or something to look at and the biggest uh pros of 8.1 i can see are mainly for professional users um if you're doing your stills uh and you just want these characters for stills and things like that or single images there is nothing wrong i mean people are still using uh the three characters uh, there's nothing wrong with it. 8.1 and 8s are going to go into such a beautiful golden age, which means that they're going to get cheaper. The, the libraries of them are massive. There is so much content for the 8 and 8.1s at this stage that there's nothing you can't get or do. The creatures, the aliens, the monsters, the figures, the humans, the girls, the boys, the everything in between. It's got such a vast variety the clothes that you get is just incredible. Uh, the performance of the 8 and 8.1s are awesome. There's nothing wrong with them. You know, they. some of these figures look incredible. And in fact, some of these figures are hitting, in all honesty, uh, kind of metahuman quality when it comes to real time and things. They look incredible. And for still renders, they're beautiful. They're incredible. They're really good. So no, uh, absolutely not. It's not the death of the 8 and the 8.1 at the moment. It's going to take years, years. And even in years, 8s and 8.1s will still be around. They'll still be making for them. They're great figures. They were such a nice leap. And they look fantastic. Um, the 9s are looking pretty good. Let's see. But in all honesty why would you change to it right now uh unless you're doing absolute close-up micro <laughs> still imagery and stuff there's no reason to upgrade right now for me uh same with the ps5 or anything you know you wait you wait you wait till it comes out you wait for all the problems to be dissolved you wait for the library to get bigger you wait for the prices to start dropping uh and by the time it gets to a good point with the content, with the prices, with everything else, then it starts getting into a good position that you can actually go, okay, now I'll adopt it. It's at the right right price point. It's at the right time. It's uh, It's got enough content that I can start using it because we still got to find out if anything from the 8s and 8.1s are compatible with the 9s. I know there's something about the poses that you could do. Anyway, there's, there, I'm sure there's going to be a million tools that are released that convert from 8s and 8.1s to 9s. Another massive one is all the plugins, all the scripts that have been made. There's so much, so many things that PAs have created. So everything works really well with the 8 and 8.1s. Um, and given time, all of these kind of plugins, things that'll be compatible to use the the clothes, the hairs, the this, the that. Given time, all of these will come. They will come to. Uh, they will make things that are compatible with the nine. So uh, you got to take this into consideration as well. 
I, I suppose the biggest thing is if you can't wait and this is something that you love then go ahead this is this is awesome it's like me I just I want to see it I want to test it and if that's how you feel get it but know that you can't do much with it at the moment um, but it's certainly worth getting it if, if that's what you want and you can't wait for it go ahead and get it I think it's pretty cool and uh, uh, it, it'll be good to see what people can do with it at this point you know it's just time so I suppose in the beginning you know it's always exciting to get something new and whatever and as soon as you get that exciting thing you play for it for like uh, five minutes and then it's done <laughs> the the excitement is actually waiting for something and when you get it it's like yeah okay it's pretty care I'm pretty care I'm done with this um, and it's the same with the nines. I mean, they're going to be awesome, and hopefully they're a huge upgrade. We don't know yet. We've seen what we have seen, and they look pretty cool. But come on, people. If you're doing stills, you don't need something like that right now. You don't need it. Wait a while. I mean, look at the characters you can get for 8, 8.1. The, the, the assets, the clothes, the hair, the characters. I mean, it's just... Damn this is an exciting this is more exciting than the nine for me is that we go into a golden age of eight and 8.1s and now hopefully you can see already they start getting a lot cheaper and they just incredible figures a lot of these are incredible the clothes my god these people are talented that create these things the hairs Lindsay. i mean the hair uh the characters the clothes everything about these things our absolute golden age they've matured to such a great point now they can do pretty much anything if it's a still image you can get anything you want from them absolutely anything you want from them and they'll still be developing for the 8s and 8.1s well into the future so if you're thinking should I not buy anymore should I not do this whatever it's gonna take ages ages for the Genesis 9 to start kicking in properly ages I mean it's one character so far it's one character <laughs> maybe there'll be two three at launch I, I don't know maybe maybe within the month there'll be a couple new figures maybe one or two clothes everyone's renders are going to look the same because it's all the same clothes same poses same character you know it's it's not something that you should kind of look in for right now it's it's really not give it time give it time to mature a little bit give it time to for the price point to become realistic i mean the price point of these things are ridiculous let's be honest and if you don't get it on uh if you don't get it on the the uh what's it called uh if you don't get it on the sale i mean 60 bucks with no hair for just a character 60 bucks for the character look at that internet that's german internet right there people look at that that's germany at its finest with its internet incredible um and that's it man I, it's 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 a lot of cash to to splurge on something like this and if you go to the more expensive one remember if you don't pre-order you're paying 160 bucks and you just getting a few things with it you don't get the bonus you know the bikini and the hair you don't get those anymore you pay 160 bucks for a couple of clothes you don't even know what you're getting you don't even know what you're getting at the moment and the same thing with this one like if you don't get on pre-order you pay 60 bucks for the character no hair okay there the hair's gone it's gone it's a part of the pre-order so improving improving, 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 improving and so much more okay what is the so much more <laughs> So yes, it's always nice. It's exciting for something new to come. This is awesome. I think this is going to be the next level. I mean, now that they're fully HD and stuff, this is going to be sweet. You know, no more buying a million this and a million that. Hopefully the character holds those morphs now in the different expressions that you create. Hopefully the controls are great for the faces to get what you're looking for. I mean, this could, this definitely could be the next step and there's a lot of good things to look forward to, really. But if you have a massive library of 8s and 8.1s, if there's a character that you want to get and you're thinking, eh, I should wait, don't. It's This is going to take ages to kick in, ages to kick in uh, to where it becomes something that's feasible, that has a library, that is, that is it's ready for use. 
everyone's renders are going to look the same when this thing comes out. <laughs> Every single one of them is just the same. Ah, oh, another Victoria 9. That's, uh, that's really nice. All right. Yeah. Well done on the uh, image there. Yeah, I see you've used a pose and you've uh, rendered it out. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Oh, there's another one. Okay. A little slightly different. The finger is a little bit uh, different different pausing but uh, very nice very nice very good so no the good thing is that we're entering a golden age now for eight and eight point ones and that's that's a cool thing it's a cool thing to have um, don't stress about oh my god I must update I must update right now what are you gonna get you're gonna get a single figure that everybody else has that's it there's nothing for these characters there's no hairs there's no this there's, there's maybe one or two hairs maybe one or two outfits there's nothing. It's, it's a tiny library that is not backwards compatible as we know yet. We know that a few things might come over, but I mean, if you can't use the clothes and the, and the hair and stuff, eh, what do you have? <laughs> you got nothing. You got nothing. So wait, uh, calm down, calm down. Hold your thingy. Of course, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I have to review the damn thing, but uh, <laughs> It's just a hoax so I can get my, my renders out quicker. It's a joke. It's a joke. I don't I don't care. But I, I, I do want to see what it's like. Obviously, I use these things. Uh, I use Character Creator professionally, but I always, I always uh, uh, make sure that I'm up to date with anything new on the market. I have to, because if you wait a month, you're out of the water, so you're dead. So, I mean, this, this character would be a nice uh, comparison to Character Creator for for new characters and to metahuman what are the differences how could i drive them how do they work on pc how do they work in vr these kind of things um how are they driven i mean those deformations are they part of the vertices or are they driven by deformation maps uh how is everything driven in this character is, is a big one and something i want to understand and, and know if i move the face are those wrinkles built in the vertices or are they built in something else so let's uh you know let's have a look damn phone ringing okay so where were we let's start from the beginning people um anyway so yeah that's that's the kind of questions there's so many questions also for the new figures uh that haven't been answered yet it, it's nothing all we've seen is a character and a few things of what it can do that's it that's it and that that's uh Boy and girls are now one figure, which is amazing. Asymmetry, which you've got in 8.1. You can get it for any character. Uh, uh, high resolution skin textures, 8K. Are you going to do micro photography of these characters? Are you going to zoom up onto one patch of the skin? Something like, you know, are you going to just uh, carry on doing things like this? I mean, even this you could get away now. You can get away with the 8 and 8.1s, 100% 4K textures. Okay, fine. This, you're probably not gonna, but come on, man. Uh, all of your render's gonna be this. Hey, guys, so I uh, I rendered an eyeball. Uh, what do you think, you know? And even this, you know, uh, just, just <sighs> hold out for a while. That's all. Wait for it to get established. Wait for everyone to understand and know what are all the coolest things about it? Will it benefit me? How will I be able to use them? Is there enough stuff that I can use for them? Or am I paying, uh, you know, 60 bucks for for one still render? You got to think about it like that too. <laughs> okay, I can use her once. I'll use her because I've got nothing to put on her. So, uh, you know, I'll pose her like this and uh, make a 60 buck render. Boom. Okay. Uh, be careful. Just think, think a little before you buy something. I know it's always difficult. It's the hardest thing. Something new comes out and you're like, oh my God. But for this, it will. It will develop. It will become something awesome. It is the next step, which is awesome. There's a, so much potential for this uh, character and, and the nines. But at the moment, people, just relax a little. Eight, 8.1s, golden age, homies. Golden age, okay? Anyway, I hope this helps. And thanks for listening. See you guys again.